is the special funny. I mean, I, I've watched every single episode of South Park at least uh, twice, some upwards of probably like 50 to 70 times. Um, I love the show. I think the humor is great. I enjoy um, how they kind of skewer everything and they just let it fly. Whatever happens, happens, even in the face of potential terroristic attack. But... There was something about this special, and I couldn't put my finger on it. I watched it twice, and I couldn't figure it out. Hello, and welcome to Blockbuster Review. If you don't know what that is, it is where I play a single game of Tetris Marathon and try to review a film before the blocks reach the top or until 150 lines. Spoilers are at line... 50, I don't know if it'll matter as much with this particular movie. Anyway, here we go. South Park Post-COVID is a special that is exclusive to Paramount+, Plus, which highlights one of the few nagging issues I have with it. Now, South Park, if you may or may not know, has been on for... 25, 26, 27 years? A long time. And they've recently, the creators of South Park, uh, Matt Stone, Trey Parker, they have signed another deal with Paramount, CBS, whatever giant conglomerate of uh, different properties to make the show for another couple of years as well as specials that will be exclusive to their streaming service, Paramount+. Plus. And if you don't know, South Park, the show, is apparently exclusive to HBO Max. Now, I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know how, uh, which chicken laid which egg. I don't understand what's happening. But I do know this. It's creating a very weird thing with South Park. Because South Park is one of my favorite shows. I've watched it for many years. I don't believe it needs to cater to me. I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm upset and I need to speak to the manager of South Park. I'm just saying it's very, very weird what is happening now. Because post-COVID is a special that takes place in the future of South Park when the boys um, of South Park fame, I mean, I'm wearing their names on my shirt and they have been around for over two decades, so they're almost part of the zeitgeist and the culture now. They are now adults and they are dealing with the death of one of their friends. I say, I'd say former friends, they all fell out of touch clearly. Uh, Kenny, someone has killed Kenny. And they did it because he was trying to unlock what happened with COVID and what happened basically to their friendship. Uh, that's a mini spoiler. Now, is the special funny? I mean, I, I've watched every single episode of South Park at least uh, twice, some upwards of probably like 50 to 70 times. Um, I love the show. I think the humor is great. I enjoy... Um, how they kind of skewer everything and they just let it fly. Whatever happens, happens. Even in the face of potential terroristic attack. But there was something about this special and I couldn't put my finger on it. I watched it twice and I couldn't figure it out. Now, it's I don't think it's because they are adults, the characters in this. Because it's not just the, the four main boys. We have little cameos by tons of their classmates. Token, uh, Jimmy, Wendy Testerberger, Clyde. Uh, Craig and uh, Tweak and I'm not saying that they did this on purpose and I'm not saying that this was the entire point of their special but it really felt like they were trading on the idea oh my gosh dude we're gonna see adult versions of these characters like it seemed like that was a big thing like oh, oh my gosh how cool is it gonna be like we're gonna like almost like we need time for applause just because of that and I don't, I don't think that that's what they're thinking. I don't think that that's literally what they said or what they tried to go for. But it just felt like that. Also, South Park does have a tendency to kind of... Uh, they'll beat certain jokes into the ground, which can be funny. And they seem to do that a lot in this special that just weren't landing for me personally. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm sure they landed for other people. And there have been many episodes of South Park where... They have a joke or a, a premise that they keep coming after or they keep going after and they keep using that it doesn't land with me, but I know it's landing with other people and it's it's not bad. 
it's not a, it doesn't offend me. It just, it just wasn't my, uh, wasn't my jam. And there were more of those in this, ep this, uh, special than normal. But then there was another thing that nagged at me. Um, I didn't even talk about the story. Well, I did kind of the adult versions of the boys are trying to figure out what Kenny was researching, which they believe was the beginnings of COVID turns out to be their lost relationship as friends. Um, but the th other thing that this special does that I hate when it happens, even though South Park is, is just as guilty of it because they set up uh, trilogies in episodes that are that basically act as giant mini movies that were on the show. Watching it literally felt like watching Pirates of the Caribbean uh, Dead Man's Chest where you're like, so this is just this is just the prequel to your sequel like this. The only reason this exists is is to let everybody know you better get ready for a couple of more of these bad boys because we're coming at you and we're coming at you quick with more uh, 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 Paramount Plus specials. And one big joke of the special was everything in the town, every business, every organization is now doing the max, the plus, the the uh, the uh, combinations, the all that jazz. But it's like you're participating in it. I don't know if you willingly did. I don't know, like I, like I said, I don't know what what company led to what or how this happened, but like your show is participating in it the worst, where you have exclusive shit over here and exclusive shit over on another another streaming service. And I'm I'm not saying that I'm smarter than the average bear, but people are going to get confused and annoyed because sadly, it seems like the general population uh, tends to get a little slow on basic shit sometimes. And they're going to look at this and be like, what do you mean that South Park the show is here, but these specials are here? I I've seen enough. I've seen some of it already. And it's like, I get what's going on, but it's going to... And also, because of that, it seems like, okay, we're going to separate these entirely, almost like they did the video games. But the show, or the special that I watched on Paramount Plus is referring to all of the quote-unquote lore, the history of South Park the show it just it just felt it felt different and it felt odd and it felt like what we're like it almost felt like the thing they were lampooning too member berries like it was let's hit everybody with just the right stuff to get them to come back and renew that subscription to get some more South Park goodness that we're taking away from the television show that we all were big fans of to put it in a different location. And I want to see how they're going to continue the story because it, it resolves with the three boys, um, except for Cartman. He's kind of he's kind of bailing. It resolved with them deciding they're going to go after Kenny and Randy's going to dig into some stuff with Tegrity Weed, but it's almost like it didn't solve anything. We didn't re resolve anything. So I don't know. I'm still going to watch it, because let's be honest, I'm a fan of South Park through and through. I'll, I'll be watching them, but still felt different. That's my thesis. Have a good one.